Find the change in time. It is now eight o'clock. What time will it be in three hours? So on our clock, there are two hands. We have an hour hand, which is shorter, and a minute hand, which is longer. So we're going just hours right now, so our hour hand is the only one that is changing. So if we add one hour, we'll go from eight to nine o'clock, so there's one hour. I'm gonna say HR for hour, one hour. Well, if we wanna go another hour, we're gonna to get to 10 o'clock. And if we add another hour, we're going to get to 11 o'clock. So instead, our hour hand would look like this. So if we go one, two, three hours, we are now at 11 o'clock. So we should type in 11, use a colon, and our two zeros for our minute hand. Look at the clock. What time will it be in two hours? Use that scratch pad. So remember this skinny long one is our minutes and we're talking about hours, so two hours. So our hour hand is pointed directly right now on nine. So it is right now nine o'clock. But we wanna know what time it will be in two hours. So we need to move this hour hand two hours. So if we go up to the 10, that's moving it one hour. And then if we move our hour hand another hour, we now get to 11. So we have nine to 10 to 11. So two hours later, we're talking it will be 11 o'clock. Look at this time. Look at this clock. What time will it be in two hours? So let's use our scratch pad. If I look here, you can see that there's a short fat hand and a long skinny hand, both pointing to 12, which means that right now it is exactly 12 o'clock. So it could be 12 noon or 12 midnight. We're not sure, but it is exactly 12 o'clock. So if we're at 12 o'clock and we wanna go two hours, we're gonna go clockwise. Our next hour is one o'clock. So one hour later is one o'clock, but we wanna go two hours. So let's keep going. And we would have another hour, which means that our hour hand would be pointed towards the two and it would be two o'clock. Look at this clock. What time will it be in three hours? So let's use our scratch pad and look at where our hour hand is. Our hour hand is on the five. Our minute hand goes all the way up to the 12. So it's five o'clock currently. And they wanna know what time it is three hours later. So we start at five and we need to go an hour. So if we go one hour, we're at six. Go another hour, we're at seven and go another hour, well, we're at eight. So then our hand would look like this and it would be eight o'clock in three hours. Look at this clock, what time will it be in two hours? So let's find out what time it is. Look at our hour hand. Our hour hand is pointed towards the 10 and our minute hand is straight up at the 12. So right now it would be 10 o'clock So 10 o'clock, and we wanna go two hours. So if we're at 10 and we go one hour, we're at 11. If we're at 11 and go one hour, we get to 12. So in two hours, it will be 12 o'clock, just like the example. I think that was a coincidence though. It's now four o'clock. What time will it be in three hours? So they told us the time, so we know right now our hour hand is on that four. So if we're at four and we need to go three hours, we're gonna go one hour, then we're gonna go two hours, and then we're gonna go three hours. So there's one hour here, one hour here, one hour here. So our clock is now pointed to the seven, so it would be seven o'clock. Nice work. 
It is now 11 o'clock, so they're telling us what time it is. So it's 11 o'clock. We know our hour hand is pointed towards the 11. What time will it be in three hours? So if we start at 11, we're gonna go one hour to 12, two hours to one o'clock, and three hours to two o'clock. One hour here, one hour here, one hour here. Our hour hand would then move to two o'clock, so it would be two o'clock. It is now four o'clock. What time will it be in two hours? So we look at our hour hand, it's pointed towards four. So we're starting right here. If we go one hour, we get to five o'clock. Another hour, we get to six o'clock and they want two hours. So here's one hour and one hour and one and one is two. So it would be six o'clock, which means that our hour hand would be pointed down like this. Nice work. It is now eight o'clock. What time will it be in three hours? So if we look, our short, fatter hand is the hour hand and it is pointed towards the eight. So we're at eight o'clock. We're gonna go three hours. So one hour brings us to nine o'clock, two hours brings us to 10 o'clock, and three hours brings us to 11 o'clock. So we have one hour here, one hour here, and one hour here. So that's three o'clock, three hours, which would point to 11 o'clock. Great job, let's work on this last one. It says that, look at this clock, what time will it be in just one hour? So if we look at the clock, let's look at that short hand, short wider hand is pointed at the 10. So it is currently 10 o'clock and we need to go one hour. So if we go one hour from 10 o'clock, we are at 11 o'clock. So let's look for 11, great job. Great job finding the change in time.